Hi, this is Joma Ramos and I am here to answer the four questions given to us by our professor in Mindanao history subject. Seeing the actions performed by the government towards the Bank Samoro, my mind would say that the roots of this struggle are the assertions of their number one, cultural identity, number two, self-rule or self-determination. And yes, it is worthy to struggle for it because cultural identity gives them clear perception of who they are and that they are distinct people as members of this complex and culturally diverse society and that diversity bind us together in a collective identity. The self-rule or self-determination moreover allows them to experience reality and capacitates them to make their own choices and decisions based on their own preferences and regulated actions that are goal-oriented and group-directed and not dictated. These two are extensively significant for them to enjoy life, not just as group of human beings, but also as group of human persons granted with certain rights, protection, responsibilities, and above all, dignity. Way back 1996, during the administration of then-President Fidel V. Ramos, the MNLF and Philippine government signed the final peace agreement which ended the conflict between the both parties and established the ARMM. However, the MILF denounced this agreement and continued to advocate for full independence of the Bank Samoro, which resulted to the heavy fighting against the Philippine government that was engaged in the late 1990s to 2000s. In year 2000, then-President Joseph Estrada declared all-out war against MILF, which also triggered the group to engage in a jihad or holy war against the government. And the most affected of this conflict were the areas in central Mindanao. This conflict forcefully displaced the people of this region from their homes. The war caused not only destruction of properties, but also broken lives and families. Infrastructure can be rebuilt or replaced, but the trauma of war instilled to the minds of the people of all age cannot be taken away for it already impacted the lives of these people. As a graduate school student specializing in social studies, the kind of expression of solidarity of the struggle of the Bang Samoro is to use my mind and expertise as a vessel of true knowledge and right information to transform the mind of the younger generation. I believe that feeding the young minds with the information vital for the peaceful Bangsamoro leads to a more harmonious future society. As an educator, I can offer my knowledge and expertise to my learners by instilling to them the value of respect and tolerance of others' differences and encouraging them to use peaceful means instead of using violence for conflict resolutions. According to Edward bulwer lytton pen is mightier than the sword, but I believe that equipping the minds of this young generation would give them the capacity to rightfully use the pen in the future for a greater impact.